I'm at Occupy Honolulu. We have uh, HPD public uh, affairs officers in Aloha shirts came down to um, evict. So we are doing it again. following them. How many times are we going to... They're giving uh, notifications to the people in the tent. This is live uh, from Occupy Honolulu at the corner of Ward and South Baratania. These people in the Aloha shirt are HPD officers. They drew some uh, lines on the pavement earlier, claiming that the boundaries of the park had changed. Uh, They can't show me a map where, where the park is. You asked for a map? Yeah. They can't show you a map? Nope, they can't show me a map. So what... Can I have your attention, please? Good evening. I'm Sergeant Sandler of the Honolulu Police Department. The Thomas Square Park is closed to the public from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. It is now after 10 p.m. You are in violation of revised ordinance of Honolulu Section 10-1.2, Section A, Section 12. Park rules which state, it is unlawful for any person to enter or remain in a public park during the night hours that the park is closed to the public, providing that signs are posted. The blue sign is clearly posted. If Behind you, us. If you fail Way to leave the park, enforcement like action will be taken. Please comply and leave the park. The park boundaries are designated with the white dots. Anybody on this side of the park, please comply and leave. Can you show me the line because that's where I'm going to be the and, whole night. And, so and, me and exactly just for the record, a zone starts at the sign. It does not start at a line. It starts at a sign. And the sign the, this dot went in uh, this afternoon. Please leave the park. The um, boundaries were conveniently changed uh, this afternoon, actually a few hours ago, not even, not even 12 hours ago. <laughs> I'm live streaming. Dude. Really? From where? From my camera. Into, oh my God, that's wonderful. I got two viewers. <laughs> How many viewers, too? Two viewers right now. So tweet, tweet this out, viewers, and uh, I'm going to stay with it as long as I can. Uh, we have uh, the officers had um, have uh, moved into the park. You can see them. Uh, Looking in the park, now sometimes there are people in the park. Sorry, the, uh, I, just to give you an idea of where we are, this is uh, Ward Avenue facing into uphill traffic. Um, the police officers have made their way into the park uh, to, I guess, look for for people. This is a fairly large uh, park uh, with the uh, Occupy taking, occupying uh, uh, not the park itself but what uh, uh, Occupy Honolulu had earlier established was not the park area but the sidewalk area that was available for um, First Amendment uh, kinds of activities. 
Uh, let me walk up to the front of the uh, corner. And as you can see, they've had this uh, kiosk uh, at the beginning, at the front of the encampment that clearly establishes uh, that it is a uh, place for political discussions and whatnot. We're now scouring the the entire park. They're scouring the park, okay. The Lucy Bowl and everything. What did they tell you guys? They told us that um, uh, if we don't comply with the new park rules, that they're going to be able to reinforce everything. Did they say time or anything like that? And park logos. And this white dot, apparently, is now the park boundary. They drew it. They, they changed the boundary today. Right, but I mean, it's after 10 o'clock, so. So <laughs> we apparently can't go past the white dot. So you're moving yourself back? Oh, well, it's, it's not they can't test for 24 hours because of Bill 54. Right, right. But what? People have to be on a public bathroom. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Bill okay, 54 wait. requires them to so make a 24-hour notification before they can seize property. However, what they're trying to do the is to... Um, that this cement was not part of the park, but that has now apparently changed. Um, and so they're saying that anyone who is on this concrete area now um, can be cited or arrested for foot closure violation. Well, the, the stuff can't be cited for park closure violation. It's an inanimate object. Um, they have passed Bill 54, um, which is now ordinance. I don't know the ordinance number, but that says that you have to be given 24 hour notice for me. Um, so the property is going to stay in place as it is and so we are providing notification of that. Um, but the people have now are out where we are going to again request a permit for Thomas Square. Um, and so we will try to negotiate. Uh, um, we're trying to avoid uh, problems. Um, visual action at this point, I believe most people um, have moved to the sidewalk, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's hard to tell. Everyone is able to, to act in their own capacity. Sure, I'm Megan Brooker, M-E-G-A-N-B-R-O-C-U. Uh, I'm just a member. That was uh, Megan Brooker. She was one who was uh, arrested earlier also. Um, her court date hasn't come up yet. The plan, in case uh, you didn't hear it, and we're having some connection problem while I'm on AT&T, um, is that uh, the, the encampment itself uh, cannot be seized. That, that would be seized under um, an ordinance that was passed by Bill 54, which requires 24-hour notice uh, that allows the seizure of personal property, even if it's attended. Um, but they are asking people to leave uh, Honolulu, Occupy Honolulu, which is uh, actually properly de-occupy Honolulu uh, in solidarity with the Hawaiian people, the Kanaka Maoli, who believe that the area is, that Hawaii is already illegally occupied. Um, the people will be leaving rather than face um, arrest or or sighting and uh, until park opening which I believe they said is 5 a.m. Let's see. I, I point out that the encampment itself is um, half a block within the um, within half a block of the uh, police station, the main police station. So, um, pointing up 
the street at some blinking lights up in blue lights up at Ward. I'm looking at Ward. The encampment itself is right across the street from the Honolulu Academy of Arts. Um, and this is the main corner. This corner is uh, the corner of uh, Baritania, South Baritania and Ward. I see the sign up there. Um, the, l the lights uh, at their kiosk and whatnot are run by a small uh, generator that you can't even hear. Uh, you can see computers, educational material, sign up sheets. Um, and I don't know if you can see what this jar says. It says pocket change for social change, and that goes to feed parking meters and pay for gasoline and that kind of stuff. Um, let me try and follow the the dots that they put in this afternoon. Here's some chalk art here. I don't know if you can see it. War is over if you want it to be. Um, here's a uh, copy of the Bill of Rights. It says we are not camping. Bill of Rights, of course, the First Amendment guarantees freedom of speech. Um, here's one of the dots. I don't know if you can see it. And they chalked in a line. They brought me in. They brought me in. Oh, here's some more. Because they're not going to mess with us tonight, as far as the tents go. But everybody has to be outside. I'm done, man. I'm looking down. Ward at moment. Here's the police car lights off. Here's the generator. I'm going to get to where there's uh, more lights. Here, the uh, police officers in the Aloha shirts have come back. And they're, they're now coming back here. Um, and appear to be... Uh, Hi, Craig! Hi, Craig! Thank you, officers! Thank, Thank you, officers! For protecting our rights! For protecting our rights. rights. Looking out for the interest of the people you serve. Looking out for the interest of the people you serve. And generally doing a great job. And generally doing a great job. Keep up to the women. Oh, you look at that. A bunch of people here. Occupy Honolulu members, supporters, like me. They uh, are now departing. Hey, what did they say? They said they're coming tomorrow morning? Something. I'm going to try and find out what the details are. So I what think they're going to come tonight, later. They're nothing. They're, they're a bunch of scared people because they thought there was going to be 30, 40 people here. I told them, like, well, there could be 30, 40 people here. So they sent the Aloha cops to scout out what was happening. <laughs> so they read their little paper Script. sheet to all the people who were in, in They didn't the even cite them, right? No. Like, there have been no citations. They have the ability to do that. They have to go get, hey, the, they have to get the suits with the real badges. Oh. And they could come down. So the stuff's so going to stay. Because they... they their initiative was to have us move, and basically, the, when I caught it down there, the, the person closest in the tent, um, they basically went up, like, hello, hello, like, opened it up, went inside, read that sheet of paper to them, right, and said, like, are you going to leave? And she was like, no. <laughs> the woman in the, the tent closest to the street down, down the way there, down there, but okay. way yeah. down there. What yeah. About? Uh, she's not with us. Right, right, okay. She's just a homeless, homeless lady. She's like, no, I heard her. So then they left, and that was it. Now they're going back. Okay, I'm going to try and find out what the status is. The police officers left. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to see what the uh, what the deal is if they're going to return. Uh, people 
The cap is still here. This is uh, Megan Brooker so speaking. She mentioned the uh, authorities came here earlier in the day and put a bunch of dots on the pavement that redefined where the park was. Hey, you want to? Anybody want to say something on a live stream? Anybody want to like? There, occupiers. <laughs> We're doing good work. Keep it up. Now go home. Those of you that are in your home watching live stream, <laughs> thank you for your support. <laughs> love you. <laughs> All right. Good one. We'd love you more if you were down here, though. We would love you a lot. Well, maybe they're not within driving distance. I mean, I would love you a lot more if you were down here because this is, this is not You're part of us. You have free snacks here. Quite frankly, this is. This is not necessarily the best way to spend your time, so keep doing what you're doing on your individual <laughs> actions and making the world a better place. Watching television and live streaming. Keep watching. Oh, good boy. Thank you, Pat. Oh, good boy. Thank you, Pat. I'm going to walk down. We're going to at least make sure that there is uh, enough electricity here. This is the nice doggy. I don't know if you can see the main encampment in there, but it's a nice open uh, tent where people would have discussions and whatnot. On the side of the tent, I don't think you can see it, it says Free Hawaii. Free Hawaii from its illegal occupation. There is a... Uh, TV truck with an antenna across the street. They're live streaming, but you know, you're getting it from inside. This is, this is the H. Doug U stream, live stream, unedited, you know. Uh, fortunately, though, there's probably no tear gas involved tonight. I'm, I'm hoping. Um, the lights inside the main tent are still uh, still on. Now there's a there's a targetable traffic cam. We still get a lot of support from people. There's also a uh, I'm looking for the. Okay, I'm gonna go up this light post and as you can see there is a uh, targeted uh, traffic cam it's not really looking at traffic <laughs> it's usually looking at uh, Occupy Honolulu um, so they're getting some live stream too this is a major intersection where there's a lot of traffic so a lot of people here have been uh, seeing uh, the occupation from the very beginning, and this is one of the most enduring ones. I see, uh, I see police coming back. Okay, we got officers coming back. We got officers coming back. This way, this way. 
got the three officers on their way back. They probably uh not too sure. We met these guys during the APEC protest week. It's uh, officers um, Carvalho and Santos. Uh, during APEC week, they rolled out a new uniform, which is not a uniform. It's a uh, Aloha shirt. Back on APEC week, they had uh, straw-looking caps that weren't really caps they were like Kevlar and of course under the Aloha shirts they were outside the belt like a lot of local people like I do but also can't see weapons and tear gas and tasers and that kind of thing and uh, black jackets and whatnot. They've come back and I'm going to try and follow them and see what the deal is. They might have received new instructions or that's Santos. You are in violation of a revised ordinance on the section 10-1.2A, subsection 9, which states it is unlawful to construct, utilize, place, occupy, leave in any other manner a tent in a public park. Please remove your tents from the public park. If you fail to remove your tents, enforcement action may be taken. Please comply. What will the en enforcement enforcement action will be taken, sir? Yes. And what is that? Look it up. This is private property stored on public land. Look it up, officer. The ordinance they passed, Bill 54, requires 24 hours notice. This is not the park. So we're not too sure. We can we can see the. I'm going to take a look at the signs later on. We need you. We need you folks to really do this Tomorrow we'll violate the rules. Not, not the park's closed. We can't go in there. It would have to be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you'd, 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 you'd have to the violate the law. law. They're you asking. Can't remove any personal the, property. The park you have. is closed. We can't go into the park. Right? You the park is closed. You, you just pulled them. Have been warned. How would they remove? How would they remove the property without going in and violating the law? I think is the question. This is private property stored on public land. Private property on public land. Look it up, Bill 54. So now, you know, this is a live stream, but it's also being recorded. I believe the uh, police officers. Are requiring the occupiers to enter the park and violate the law to remove the property, uh, or else be be uh, subject to enforcement action. So maybe uh, people can't enter the park. My interpretation would be that. People can enter the park after closing in order to begin removing personal property, don't you think? <laughs> right. Yeah. So basically they were saying um, you have to remove your stuff, property, but the protester is saying in order to remove that, they need <laughs> to close the enter. line at 10 p.m. <laughs> so I think they can enter in order to carry <laughs> these things Private up. property stored on public land. That's our that's our that's our get out of jail free card for the night. And the um, private property officers have gone back. I don't know, maybe to receive instructions. They should be using things like radios. You know. However, they don't have jurisdiction to sign up. So that would be so, so, so another department would have to go and sign. Okay, well, let's... But it's going to be the... Okay. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes. We will probably get another visit from them. Uh, I'm going to... What I'm going to do during the interim is I'll walk...